We're going to do a new series uh, this morning on uh, the love of Yahuwah. We're going to talk about uh, how the scriptures declares that uh, we love him because he first loved us. And we're going to talk about the fact that uh, we, most people, the biggest thing they doubt about our creator is his love that, that he has for mankind. And so we're going to, the only way you can understand and know the, the, the love of our creator is through the word, it's through his scriptures, because it's a revelation of who he is. And uh, so we're going to start uh, in the book of 1 John chapter 4. And I'm going to read, uh, starting at verse 1. It says, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of Yahuwah, because many false prophets are gone into the world, gone out into the world. Uh, hereby know we the spirit of Yahuwah. Every spirit that confesses that Yahusha HaMashiach is come in the flesh is of Yahuwah. Wow. Did you hear that? Hereby know we the spirit of Yahuwah. Every spirit that confesses that Yahusha HaMashiach is come in the flesh is of Yahuwah. That's how you can really test if, if someone really uh, is a believer, is really uh, speaking by the word of Yahuwah. If they will say and confess and acknowledge that Yahusha HaMashiach is come in the flesh. In other words, what the scriptures has to declare, that Yahuwah was manifest in the flesh. That Yahuwah, as, as it says in 2 Corinthians, uh, that to know that Yahuwah was in Mashiach, reconcil or the Messiah, reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing our trespasses unto us. So that's how you can tell, first of all, about the aspect of someone, if, if someone is really speaking by the spirit of Yahuwah. If they will acknowledge that, that, that Yahusha Hamashiach has come in the flesh. And then it says in verse 3, And every spirit that confesses not that Yahusha Hamashiach, now your, your scripture says, if you read from an English translation, would say Jesus Christ, but we know that the Messiah or Mashiach's name in Hebrew is Yahusha. And the word for Christ is the Messiah. Mashiach uh, would be his, his title here. Yahusha HaMashiach, the Messiah, is come in the flesh. Is not, every spirit that confesses not that Yahusha HaMashiach is come in the flesh is not of Yahuwah. He's just repeating what he just said in verse 2 here, just in, in a different way. And this is that spirit of Antichrist that where we have heard that it should come, and even now is it already in the world. You are of Yahuwah, little children. And, I, and, I, and I'm, I'm using Yahuwah's name where they put the word God in here, which we know that's not his name or his title. And, uh, and even if we were to put the word Allahim uh, or Luahim here, which is really the Hebrew word for uh, mighty one, which is the word that we use for God in English. But... Uh, but anyway, it's it's also been substituted for the for the Creator's name, so that's why I put His name Yahuwah back in the text where it should be. So that's why I'm using Yahuwah's name here. You are of Yahuwah, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is He that is in you than He that is in the world. They are of the world, therefore speak they of the world, and the world hears them. We are of Yahuwah. He that knows Yahuwah hears us, and he that is not of Yahuwah hears not us. Hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of Yahuwah, and every one that loveth is born of Yahuwah and knows Yahuwah. He that loveth not knows not Yahuwah, for Yahuwah is love. Notice it says Yahuwah is love. It's not that Yahuwah has love. He is love. <laughs> Yahuwah is love. And you can't, you can't say that you know Yahuwah and don't, walk, don't love one another. You've got to understand that if you have the Ruach in you, the spirit of Yahuwah in you, then you're going to love your brethren. Because it's his nature. That's who he is. He's, he is love. He doesn't have love. He is love. One of the things that you can tell if you are born of the, the Ruach or the spirit is that you have love for others. And the love for, especially for the brethren. And then it says here, uh, let me go back and read verse 6 again. We are of Yahuwah, he that knows Yahuwah hears us, and he that is not of Yahuwah does not hear us. Hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. 
Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of Yahuwah, and everyone that loves is born of Yahuwah and knows Yahuwah. He that loveth not knoweth not Yahuwah, for Yahuwah is love. In this was manifested the love of Yahuwah toward us, because that he sent his only begotten Son into the world that we might live through him. Herein is love, not that we loved Yahuwah, but, he that, but that he loved us and sent his Son to be the propitiation for our sins. Beloved, if Yahuwah so loved us, we ought also to love one another. No man has seen Yahuwah at any time. If we love one another, Yahuwah dwells in us, and his love is perfected in us. Hereby know we that we dwell in him, and he in us, because he's given us of his ruach, of his spirit. He's given us. <laughs> wow. Oh, it's so wonderful to know that, to have that revelation, that understanding that I have his spirit on the inside of me. I have his life on the inside of me. I have eternal life abiding in me now. That's why you have to have, have received the Ruach before you leave, before you, before you die. Otherwise, you will not be able to enter the kingdom of Yahuwah. It's what unites us with him. Yahushua, the Mashiach, prayed and said, Father, I pray that they may be one even as we are one. Now, how can we become one with them if it's not through the Spirit, if not through the Ruach? And so that's how we are one with the Father and one with the Mashiach, is that we have His Spirit. Romans chapter 8 says, If any man have not the Ruach of, you, of the Mashiach, of the Messiah, if you don't have His Ruach, you, you're, you're, you're no part of Him. So it's, it's of a necessity that you have His Ruach. And we have seen that the Father... And we have seen and do testify that the Father sent the Son to be the Savior of the, of, the, of the Mashiach of the world, the Messiah of the world. Whosoever shall confess that Yahushua is the Son of Yahuwah, Yahuwah dwells in him and he in Yahuwah. I confess that Yahushua is the Son of Yahuwah and I have his Spirit in me. Verse 16 is where I was really wanting to get to. And we have known and believed the love that Yahuwah has to us. Yahuwah is love. There it is again. Yahuwah is love. Not has love, but he is love. And he that dwelleth in love dwells in Yahuwah, and Yahuwah in him. Now, verse, the first part of this verse says, We have known and believed the love that Yahuwah has to us. You know, a lot of people have a, they might know of the love of Yahuwah when they, when they understand about the plan of salvation and that their need for a Savior and they call out to him and they're born of the Spirit. But it takes time to believe, to get to where you can believe the love that Yahuwah has to us. Simply because it comes as a revelation, as an understanding of the scriptures, to understand that love, to believe that love. That's why a lot of people have a hard time receiving things from Yahuwah, especially about his promises that he's made to us because they doubt his love for them. You're not going to have confidence toward Yahuwah to believe what his word has to say concerning your personal life and what he has done and provided for you and I if you don't have confidence in his love for you. And the only way that you can receive that is through revelation of the scriptures and the scriptures being opened up, up to you where you actually see and that you know that you know that you're loved by Yahuwah and that he's not withholding things from you. He's, he's freely given us all things the scripture says all the promises of Yahuwah are yes and amen. They're, in other words, they're, they are for you. If he's made a promise in his word for, for, for us, it is for you. It's yes. If it's something personal that he's, he's promised salvation for all who shall call upon him, that's one thing. But he's also made other provisions through the scriptures for, for us to be protected. He says in Psalm 91 that those that know his name that he'll be a refuge and a fortress. He'll provide protection for you and I. That we could say of Yahuwah that he is our refuge, our fortress, and him do we trust. That no sickness or disease shall come near our dwelling. That's a promise of Yahuwah for those that know his name and trust him. But see, in order you to appropriate that in your life, you have to have faith, and you have to have faith in the love that Yahuwah has for you. We'll pick back up on this. I want to encourage you to watch the rest of the teachings. We've got a lot more to share about Yahuwah's love for us. And uh, 
And I can assure you, if, if faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of Yahuwah, that the faith that, that Yahuwah does love you will be built up in your heart, and it'll put you in a position of receiving the things that he has promised in his word for you. Have a blessed, prosperous day in Yahuwah, and we'll see you on our next broadcast. Be sure to share this with others, and put it on Facebook. Encourage others to, to watch and uh, to be a partner with us in our YouTube channel at Proclaiming Yahuwah. And um, I thank you for it. Shalom.